Hey everyone, uh, just to follow up on the video that I made um, about a week ago or within the last week at least uh, about reflections in uh, Lumion and how it affects the performance of the animations, uh, I'm now actually going to focus on Skylight. Um, I rendered out um, a scene that's 10 seconds long, 19, 20 resolution with 60 frames a second um, without any effects on it, um, just to kind of get a baseline. Uh, so I'm going to uh, not only play those videos, uh, but I'm also going to just show a small graph uh, with the performance. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you how I set up this clip. Uh, so it is similar to what I did with Skylight. Um, so I am just going to go up here, edit. Uh, I'm going to copy the clip. I'm going to go right here. Um, just got to click that quickly. Um, now I'm going to paste clip. And then I'm just going to remove all of these. And we're just going to leave Skylight. Sorry for the clicking there. Um, and yeah, so this is more or less it. Uh, I am just going to go into edit clip and I'm going to change this to 10 seconds. And did that work? No, did not save it. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Um, so yeah, this is basically the clip. Um, I am going to run through, as I said, those videos in a moment. Um, but for the videos, I had it uh, where Skylight was off, and that was five minutes. Uh, I had Skylight on normal, that was 10 minutes. High was about 20 minutes, and Ultra took um, about uh, 40 seconds, or sorry, 40 minutes to render. Uh, I didn't find any differences when I was doing the brightness and saturation, so I'm just going to assume that that doesn't actually affect performance. Uh, and then the skylight in the uh, planner reflections and the projected reflections, that is entirely dependent on your scene. I can't really benchmark that um, because it'll change with every single scene because uh, it has to calculate those uh, reflections. Um, without any um, reflection planes on it, it was the exact same as the normal, which is what I was kind of testing it against. So that was as expected, but the projected reflections with just a, um, just the projection cube in obviously, uh, that took four minutes longer. So, um, yeah, that's sort of how that works. Uh, I will just run through that stuff right now. Uh, and then we can hop back into it. So as you can see uh, from those videos, I personally probably would recommend that you don't even really use Skylight. Maybe you could get away with using normal, um, but to me, it just seems that high and ultra are just too long for the render times to add in. Um, the fact that Skylight takes eight times as long as um, a scene with no effects in it, I, I just think that that's too, too much. Like it, it seems like you could almost get the same effect just by slightly increasing the exposure maybe increasing like the hyperlight and then just changing the color correction so it's a little bit cooler. Um, I would probably recommend that you maybe do normal uh, just for if you're doing an interior animation because I do like the effect that that gives for the interiors. Um, but yeah, for exteriors, just save your time, I think, and don't use Skylight for that. That's what I would recommend anyways because as you can see from the videos, like I, I really found that even the one with just the raw um, effects on it looked fine. So um, yeah, this, uh, this is just a quick video that I kind of wanted to run through. There isn't too much to really get into with this. Uh, I am just trying to make uh, some videos that kind of look at particular effects that I know are really heavy on performance because uh, I want people to just understand kind of when they put an effect into their scene, um, if they're really pressed for time, then obviously putting a ultra uh, skylight in is very bad uh, and it's really not necessary because the amount of quality that you're getting is not going to go up uh, at the same rate that the render times are. And that is what I'm just kind of trying to make with these series of videos that I want people to be able to get the highest possible quality in the lowest amount of time. So if you can cut your render times in half and it only really reduces the overall quality by like 5%, um, then that's a good trade-off to me. And I think that uh, that should be taken. But if you're going to get you know, um, 5%, um, 
or sorry, if you're going to get a 50% drop in quality uh, that is going to reduce your render time by 5%, then that's not really worth it. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, if you want to see uh, more videos where I kind of go through Lumion effects and figure out um, exactly um, how long each effect is going to take um, and the ways that we can, you know, find out how to render the best looking animations quickly, um, then I would really like it if you subscribe to the channel, if you're not already, uh, so you can stick around for those videos. If you are subscribed, uh, I will see you in the next one. I have some really cool videos coming out in the next couple of days. Um, one of them is a Lumion uh, interior walkthrough with uh, the model and the scene provided by imesh.com. Uh, so I'll just leave a link to them uh, below if you want to check it out. Uh, but that should be coming uh, either later tonight or in the morning. So uh, I will see you guys there. Have a good one.